Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Woman Descending the Staircase by Gerard Richter. The first time I saw Gerard Richter painting in person, I thought he was a photographer. That's his remarkable skill. Here, though, Richter works through opposites. His masterpiece, Woman Descending the Staircase, illustrates this duality. He first creates a photorealistic work. Then Richter messes with it. Of course, he doesn't always blur his paintings. Richter leaves some photorealistic works crisp and pristine. These portray a meticulous reality, but sometimes he adds a step and also abstracts it. Richter creates these abstractions when he points out a particular aspect of the piece. For instance, with his smudges of woman descending the staircase, this adds a visual commentary. We see the ideal woman ripped out of a magazine editorial in a fresh way. So that photorealistic ripoff from a fashion shoot becomes a critique of sorts. Still, its visual aspect grips our attention. The reversed meaning also matters, of course, but Richter's blurring sets her in motion. It's enchanting. Thus, Woman Descending the Staircase combines Gerard Richter's dual styles. He's a noted photorealist painter, but the German painter's also known for abstract expressionism. His masterpieces bridge these two opposite worlds. That's what makes this painting so iconic. Photorealism impresses viewers with an impeccable portrait of what's real. Abstract expressionism reveals dynamic emotions and ideas, so uniting these creates something new, a keen juxtaposition. Photography and high fashion marry the fine art world with Richter presiding. This glamorous, well-dressed woman floats like a model. That's because the painter plucked her out of a fashion magazine. He did this work in 1965, but she is a timeless beauty. In fact, the painting feels as new today as it did the first time I saw it 20 years ago. Much like a fashion model, Woman Descending the Staircase doesn't age. Her lovely uniqueness transcends time. She's a masterpiece. Why did Richter paint Woman Descending the Staircase? Many art world thinkers called this a major move away from his photorealistic works. They declared it Richter's new style. He didn't like that much, hated it in fact. Painting was his way of representing objects and subjects, he protested. Then he said he planned on doing so in a variety of ways and he didn't care about art categories. It was the subject that mattered to Richter. Here's an example of a quote from him when asked why he blurs otherwise pristine photorealistic images. Quote, I blur things to make everything equally important and equally unimportant. I blur things so that they do not look artistic or craftsmanlike, but technological, smooth, and perfect. I blur things to make all the parts a closer fit. Perhaps I also blur out the excess of unimportant information. This is from the book, The Daily Practice of Painting, Writings and Interviews. I love this quote. It highlights Richter's intense focus on his priorities. He's got a laser pointed at a personal painter goal. 
What the art world thinks about it makes no difference. In fact, Richter stated that he would continue to paint in any style he liked, whenever he felt like it. Painting Woman Descending the Staircase would not stop him. He'd go on to make photorealistic or abstract expressionistic works after this. His art wasn't up to anyone else. Even with this mysterious, rebellious reaction, we can still figure out a bit of Richter's motive. That's because there's an element of Marcel Duchamp in Woman Descending the Staircase. You should check out Duchamp's Nude Descending a Staircase number two. You'll see some parallels. Duchamp's painting shines another iconic modernist masterpiece example. It's also assumed to be Richter's inspiration. That's because of the title as well as the radical painting of a popular subject. After all, beautiful women have always been a common inspiration for painters. Duchamp distorts his nude woman so that viewers don't see her nakedness in a literal sense. It's a modern remark on the concept behind nude portraits. The subject moves in a replicated fashion, obscuring her private parts. This shields her nudity. Instead, viewers see only her movement. No matter how naked, her body reveals nothing private. We see the same amount of it that we would if she wore clothes. We can't know much about Duchamp's woman. She is a faceless symbol of a nude woman. This challenges former representations by painters. Nobody had painted a nude this way before. That's because Duchamp isn't really painting a nude woman. He's portraying nudity itself. That parallels Richter's take in Woman Descending the Staircase. He also painted an unidentifiable woman. And his painting also conveyed a message about society's portrayal of women. Richter uses a magazine image as a reflection of this. He floats her down the stairs, an elegant specter. Of course, in the photo he used as a source image, this subject was on the stairs. As a static image, though, it was Richter who brought movement into the image. She sweeps down the canvas. That's because he brushed the wet photorealistic painting of her with a dry paintbrush. His actions set her in motion. So much like Duchamp created a portrait of nudity, Richter did of movement. He kept every aspect of the source photo, from her stunning beauty and luminous dress to that elegant arm draped in a flourish of silk. The muted colors show my favorite thing about woman descending the staircase. It appears to depict a black and white photo, but there's not really black or white in the painting. In person, the light bits in the painting evoke a warm creaminess. There's no bright white. Also, the grays are more like blues and not dark enough to be black. This gives the painting a lovely subtlety. Richter's blending reminds us it's not a photograph, but the colors reflect this very origin. It's Richter's moving combination of photography and abstraction that make this a masterpiece. Woman Descending the Staircase, FAQs. Who is the lady in Woman Descending the Staircase? Richter keeps his subject's identity a secret. Over the years, there's been lots of speculation, though. The painting remains a sensation with viewers. This creates buzz, and lots of guesses float around the world. After all, the woman descending the staircase looks a bit familiar. Many think the original magazine shot he used was of a famous woman. Maria Callas, or the Iranian Queen Soria, are two in particular. But I'd like to argue that the subject of this painting isn't one specific woman. Rather, the painting's about movement itself. Gerard Richter presents this subject as a revelation. Thus, the painting also becomes a commentary on photography. Why is Gerard Richter an important painter? 
Richter breaks auction records with his work. He also tops most lists of great contemporary German artists. But his influence spans far beyond that as well. On record as one of the richest people in Germany, Richter isn't a success only in terms of notoriety and money. He carved out a significant spot in the art world by introducing new concepts on canvas. It's why he's most known as a conceptual artist. Richter takes great care choosing subjects to paint. Then he portrays it with a whole new vision. Thanks to paintings like Woman Descending the Staircase, viewers see ideas as objects. Richter creates imagery that makes people think. That's why he continues to matter so much. Where can I see Woman Descending the Staircase in person? This gigantic painting stuns viewers at the Art Institute of Chicago. I was surprised to find out it's only a bit over six by four feet. Woman Descending the Staircase wields exceptional presence over visitors. The first time I saw it, I was unfamiliar with Richter, as was my companion, but immediately after seeing the piece, they turned to me and declared Richter their favorite painter. In fact, this painting alone serves as reason enough to visit the incredible AIC. It seems like a cool but simple painting on a computer screen, but that shifts to a whole experience in person. How much would a Gerard Richter painting cost? Let's just say that 99% of us can't afford a Richter. For instance, according to Artnet, $76.9 $76.9 million worth of Richter's work was sold at auction in 2010. That's only auction sales and just for the one year. Still, there's always an exception to any rule. That's why I found one case of a true bargain Richter painting. Richter loved the 80s band Sonic Youth. So, when they wrote an album inspired by his work, Richter gave them a painting for its cover. This record, Daydream Nation, hit stores in 1988. Then, Richter gave the band his original 23-square-foot painting for keeps. He also didn't charge them a dime for the piece or its use on the cover. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.